Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fill out an HTML form using Python requests. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. All right, so I have an HTML form that I've created on my website, maxtan.co and it's slash HTML form. So if you guys want to come to it, I'll have a link in the description. I'll also have a link to my website. So essentially what it does, it's pretty simple. You just fill out random information. Um, you press submit and it will basically just respond with something like this. Just gonna put your name, your message, and your email in the response. So it's pretty simple. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fill out a simple um, HTML form similar to this using requests. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so basically whenever you actually um, fill out an HTML form, basically what you're doing is just sending a post request to the server that it's on. So basically the way we can handle this is we can right click, go to inspect, and we can go to our network tab, and let me just get rid of that. So basically what we're doing here is whenever we're submitting this form, it's gonna send a post request to the server. So let me show you guys. So if we type in max and then we type in my email and then we type in hello, for example, we press submit, it's going to send a post request here. So as you guys can see, there's a few different things here. So all we're actually looking for is the HTML form. So if we go to headers here, we can see all this information here. Um, I did have to set up this backend by myself. So um, if you guys are interested in um, how to code an HTML, HTML form along with the backend, so let's say you wanted to code um, a form and have it send it to your email, um, that's completely possible with Python itself along with HTML obviously, but if you guys are interested in how to do something like that, let me know and I will make a video on it. Regardless, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually fill it out with HTML or Python requests. So to do that, we're going to need a few different things here. We're going to need our request URL. So that's this right here. I already have a replit set up. So let me import our dependencies. So we're going to be using requests. All right, so we have our URL. So this is our request URL, as you guys can see here. Let me make this easier on us. So it's going to be a little bit cramped, but we'll make it work. OK, um, we don't need this. All right, so basically what we have here is we have our URL. So we need a few different things. We need that and we need our payload information. So we can just copy that just to make it easier on ourselves. Oh, okay, we don't want that. Let's just do it this way. So we're going to copy it one by one and then we'll format it after, we're, oh, I think it already copied it. Okay, so once we have this here, we can format this. So let's just put it into a dictionary. So we're just going to set it to payload. If you guys are not aware, payload is what um, Google Chrome uses as our data. So that's what they call it when we open our network. So we can put name and we can put our name, our name variable there. We can put email and make sure you're putting these in quotation marks, obviously. And we're going to put a message parameter and then message. So basically what we have here is we have a dictionary where we are putting, or our parameters are name, email, and message. So um, we're going to be posting this information to the server. So this is the information we're gonna be posting. If we can go back here, let me put this in the same. Okay, so as you guys see, we have our payload, which is this information right here. And then headers, we don't have any headers. Headers are essentially what authorize the post request. So that would be, for example, um, our Discord token, which we would use for sending a message on Discord. Um, but since we don't have any tokens or authorization keys here, we don't need any headers. So what we can do now is just actually send the post request. Obviously, we're going to need to define our name, email, and message. But other than that, it um, will work just like that. So, and so what we can do from here is we can actually send the post request. So let's define our name, email, and message. So name, we're going to just set as max because that's my name, obviously. Email, we can just do sample at gmail.com. And message, we're going to set as, um, for example, hello there. And so what we can do now is it's going to automatically put those in our, to our dictionary. So name, email, and message, the variables is what we created right here. So what we can do now is we can go to r is requests dot post, and we can um, set our URL 
to our URL that we're posting to, and we're going to set our data to our payload variable. So a data is essentially what we're posting to the server, and then this is the URL, the request URL we got from right here. So um, what we're gonna do now is we're going to print our response. So we're going to uh, print r.text, and that's gonna be this right here. That's gonna be our response. And then we're gonna also print our status code, which will tell us um, if there's an error where the error is. If not, it's gonna just print 200 because that is the success error, error status code. What am I saying? Okay, so yeah, let's uh, test this out real quick. And bam. So um, this is actually an HTML. If you guys aren't familiar, um, the B tag is essentially just bold. So as you guys can see here, um, it's going to bold all this stuff. So uh, that's essentially what that does. And we got our 200 status code, um, which means success. So that's good. Uh, there were no errors here. Obviously, there, it couldn't have been a 401 because there's no token to actually authorize. If you aren't familiar with status codes, 401 is essentially just unauthorized, meaning that we haven't passed in the proper headers to the post request. Um, but since there are no headers in this situation, um, we wouldn't have to worry about that. So we got a 200, which means success. And uh, yeah, we have successfully filled out an HTML form using Python requests. So this does work with many other websites. I just use this um, to make it simple with mine, as you guys can see here. Um, it looks pretty similar to other forms, uh, obviously just without styling, but um, you can do this with many other um, forms. Obviously some might have captures and stuff. Um, you're just gonna have to use like two captcha or some captcha service if you wanna do that, but um, it's pretty simple, pretty um, simple without a captcha, obviously. So yeah, obviously if you're going to be doing this with other forms, all you need to do is change the parameters. So it might be, I don't know, um, first name, last name, email message. It could be um, phone number, you know, different parameters. You're just gonna to have to look at the network tab if you wanna find out exactly what they are. So it's pretty simple, just find the request. Um, if there are multiple, oh, I just reset it here, let me. All right, there you go. Um, it's pretty simple to find out which one it is. You'll just have to look through them, look through the um, previews, look through pretty much everything, or not the preview, just look through the headers and the payload. You'll be able to find out which one it is um, pretty easily. So as you guys can see here, there's no payload for any of these. These are all get requests and you're looking for the post request. So if it's a post request and it has uh, data similar to the form, um, you should be able to find it out pretty easily. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I will have a link to this replit down in the description if you guys are interested in it. I do think this is pretty useful information, not only for filling out HTML forms, but also just um, sending post requests to servers in general. Um, it is pretty useful information to know and learn how to do this. Um, I would think it is essential if you're learning Python. Other than that, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe for more daily content on this channel. I am on break from college right now for a month, so I will be able to upload more content daily. Um, if you guys have any questions, go drop a comment um, or join my Discord server that will also be in the description. I do tend to respond there faster than in my comment section. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all have a great day.